Hey guys, welcome back to Back in Tramitor Radio. Just a quick blurb here about the GS5B, the Radiodity GS5B. I've got uh, several videos out about it and I'm um, getting ready to give it away now at the 650 subscriber mark, which thank you guys. Thank you everybody for participating in this. And keep in mind that is just for the 50 states in the US, uh, just partly because of the shipping costs. So, um, but yeah, it's been a fun radio and I'm excited to give it away. But right now I want to dive into a problem that have been, has been brought to my attention through some comments in my feed. And um, you can find this in the, the follow-up Bluetooth um, programming app installation onto a smartphone uh, web, not website, but the uh, video that I made for that. And I'll put a link to that video below so you can find that stream of comments. And it includes... Um, apparently this is a problem and I did not realize this because the problem arises when you connect the provided programming cable with the GS5B to your PC, it creates a short <laughs> and I don't know if it's a short or what, but the, con the, upon connection to the computer, the radio goes into transmit with the provided programming cable. Now that's a nuisance, obviously, and it drains the battery quickly. The other side of that is it only happens if you were to connect the uh, two prong into the radio itself, it does not do it unless it's connected to the computer as well. And then it just starts to transmit. So if you are experimenting with this, be aware of two things. It will start to transmit. So be on a frequency that you can transmit on, um, not one, three, six megahertz, because none of us hams are allowed to do that. And um, the other thing is, it actually created a power surge into my USB port on my computer. So I'm not gonna try to recreate that because I do not want to create another power surge into my USB. Um, I'm just telling you this because this is how it is. This is what happened. And then to boot, it wouldn't program. It wouldn't read the program, the uh, CPS or computer programming software wouldn't read from the from the radio. So if you're gonna to try to program this from the computer, you need to be aware of this. Um, the provided programming cable, sounds like for a lot of people, has been causing this problem. So I plugged in my little trusty Baofeng programming cable I got off Amazon, and you know what? It worked fine. It didn't create that short, it didn't, put the radio into transmit and is able to read and program the radio. So I do have to say though, that that probably isn't complete fail safe. And I will tell you now that I did not check that out because if you can't field program a radio, it's of no value to me or this channel. Um, this is backcountry amateur radio because you've got to be able to manipulate your radio in the field. And one of the beauties of the GS5B was the Bluetooth programming app. Now, this is why I had not run into really any issues with this, this radio, except for that it was really difficult to see in bright sunlight, this screen. So um, now that I've made you aware of that, I just want to say that uh, I am working on some other videos, got some ideas, but life has just been crazy lately. So thank you for bearing with me and, and staying with the with the channel. So. Again, thank you all new subscribers. This has just been great to watch this grow. So um, yeah, throw out some ideas if you'd like to see them. Um, some of the ideas that I have in the future include uh, kind of teaming up with Search and Rescue and seeing how ham radio can interplay with, with that. Um, and another one is kind of taking advantage of this uh, GMRS radio that I just got from Radiodity that they, they sent to me. I just have not been able to put together a good video of the way I want to be using this in the backcountry with people. So a GMRS video coming up. Um, and then also kind of want to just hit on some of the other backcountry things. It's just not about using the radio when you're out there. You do need to have some other skills in the, in the toolbox. So, uh, oh, before I go, one more thing about the computer programming software on the GS5B the programming window, the window itself does not, you can't maximize it. I'm gonna flip this around really quick. So here we are. Sorry, I'm not doing a screen record. I'm just doing this for my phone. You can't maximize, see that? And you can't, oops, let's, let's do a new one here. 
Yep, file new. Well, isn't that interesting? So the desktop programming software has some glitches, but if I were to close this and start over, The other thing that's really interesting to note is you can expand that, but you cannot expand the window. And that's really what I'm going for here. And this was brought to my attention in the same comment feed. Uh, most, of the, most of the issues that I was made aware of in this, of the problems with this radio have to do with the programming software. So you can't maximize that. You can minimize, but when you restore it, it goes back to the same size and it's kind of a nuisance because there's actually some stuff down there at the bottom that you can see. So heads up on that. The computer programming software and provided programming software cable for the GS5B seem to be problematic. The radio itself seems to be fine. The antenna is great. It's actually really great to have the antenna that comes with. Um, but the computer programming software and interface are kind of a letdown. So heads up, and I have written over to Radiodity about this uh, about five, six days ago, and I'm waiting for some feedback, and I just have not seen that. So we'll look forward to uh, posting a, a response to this problem. But for now, just be aware that you're likely to run into that transmit problem upon plugging it into your computer and trying to sync the information. Anyway, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you down the trail.